guys, Intro Gamer 110 here. Welcome to. Yo, what just happened? Uh, just a second, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, welcome to the uh, ninth episode of Intro Reviews. And I'm gonna be reviewing the Transformers Generations of Voyager Class Megatron. First, let's take a look at the packaging, because I actually have a box. Now, this figure came out back in 2011, so you might be wondering, why am I keeping a dusty old box? What just happened? Oh, okay, battery low, that's fine. Um, so yeah, here is a picture of his vehicle mode, it says Transformers Generations. I'm guessing that says Transformers in Japanese. Megatron, Decepticon, if you can't see the giant... Septicon symbol right here. Um, on this side, it just has um, cross promotions. Here's um, Power Dive. I didn't pick it up. It's also available. And up here is a Decepticon symbol. Right here, it says Voyager Class Transformers Generations. I picked this up at Toy Traders this year in April. For 50 bucks, as you can see. On the side of the packaging, tech spec, Septicon symbol, Megatron, Septicon. Here you have a bio in both English and Japanese. If you want to pause it to read it, go ahead. Right now, there's some nice artwork of Megatron. And back to the packaging, you have product shots of both his robot mode. And his vehicle mode. Um, just two and one for some reason. So, yeah, that's it for the packaging. I don't want to damage it. But, yeah. Here is Voyager Class Megatron in his tank mode. Now, I believe this is a Japanese exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah. So, um, here he is in his tank mode. Nice green jungle tank mode so um you know just a septicon symbol gold i'm guessing this is gold paint i don't know this looks more it's coming off more of a brown on camera i don't know what you guys are seeing but yeah um there's nice purple and it's more of a brown in real life the camera's showing more of black and, you know, lots of green, some purple to break it up. Silver on the uh, rocket launchers. Silver on this back panel, but pretty bare. You know, there's some orange right here, the panels. And on this side as well. Now the bottom, you know, not too much going on, which is, I mean, this was a Revenge of the Fallen figure. And now, for comparison, here he is with... J Toys Optimus. I just felt like this comparison is, you know, it's appropriate. And here he is. Let me still call it. So now I'm going to transform. I'm not going to tell you how to transform it. Oh, yeah, first. Um, articulation, if you'd even call it that. Turret can rotate. Machine gun can rotate. And. Yeah, that's a weapon, and inside here is a weapon. Now, did I tell you to close it for robot mode? I like to keep it open. So, yeah. Just keep it closed while transforming him. There, anyway. Um, you know, I'm not gonna show you the transformation. I want to stick the battery on this phone. Okay, and here he is in his robot mode, and he looks pretty cool. Let me just zoom out a bit. I'll just have to hold this, but yeah, here he looks really cool, and um. Here, I'll just show you a picture of G2 Megatron. 
There you go. This is based off of G2 Megatron. So yeah, um, articulation wise, I, I don't want to... But you like, I'll show you guys. So articulation wise, head can swivel, arms can do a full 360, but it'll hit the backpack out only that much, but you can also get it out that much. Bicep rotation, double jointed elbow due to transformation. Legs move forward only that far, back only that far, out only that far. Um, knee rotation, knee bends 90 degrees, foot moves forward and back. So, yeah. Here are his weapons. So, here's the katana. It's a rubber. It's purple. It becomes the cannon for tank mode. And he also has a little dagger. And what I find pretty cool you can do is combine them like that. So, that's it. And, bye.